So that this Navi might sound like newbie to them. It's like, oh, the, the crowd loves this guy. Oh Let's God. go. The Navi effect powering newbie forward here in this game. And as you said, very much on paper in terms of draft and in terms of what we've seen so far this series, this is going to be quite the struggle for Liquid this game too. They need some star performances. Miracle on his TA. Certainly a hero player combination where we can expect that to happen. Very, very strong uh, roles and, and heroes for those on Nubia as well. S triple C's Ember. Something that is not going to be an easy feat for Miracle to deal with in this mid lane. This dual lane off lane from Nubia is so strong. Uh, the Warlock Legion Commander is crazy because Legion Commander with poor man shield is tanky. Has a lot of health. Uh, can put a lot of pressure and then the only thing you don't have in this offlane as Legion is that sustain that Warlock can give you with the Shadow Orb. You can just run at the enemy carry and hit him and use overwhelming odds, start trading with him and then oh I need to heal a bit. Sure I'll use a Tango and a Warlock heal and oh we're out of region? Oh well, we also have a Shrine, how convenient. So this lead, this Liquid Trilane is it's difficult to play I would say. This is it's not going to be an easy time. And, for sure, and, and I guess, yeah, it forces what Liquid supports to stay up. But they, could, they cannot leave Matumba alone against this team. Absolutely not. They have to remain on this side. As a bare minimum, Dazzle needs to stay here. But even then, I think that is pretty tough. Bottom lane, Mind Control and Kaka fighting each other a bit here. Mind Control getting the better end of that one. Still level one on the Doom. Actually, he is level two. He's killed Inferno Blade. Again, he's with good levels, actually. Straight up to level 3 already yep. on Mind Control. So getting good XP. What's the benefit of being able to play that lane 1 on 2 because Warlock is top? So that's the trade-off that Newbie have chosen here. They would rather put the pressure on the Spectre. Completely agree with that. Oh, nice shards yeah, here. Looking to make a go here. I have got the Dagger coming through as well. KP will have the Shadow Word right off. But again, just this movement speed. More than enough to build a big enough gap to stop Liquid from being able to chase him down. They still force them out. It's a, it's a good play from Liquid. This is what you need to do. And you have to do it again, because they shrine. Um, that's the right idea. When Tusk gets some good shards out like that, and they can move in together and then use the Shadow Wave, that is a decent amount of physical damage burst. And Legion doesn't have the greatest armor in the world. Currently sitting on four with this... Actually, only three with this poor man shield. And GH trying to make the most of that situation of forcing the, the newbie off lane out of it by making the movement towards the mid, but spotted out by the ward uh, towards the Dire Jungle entry just north of Roshan as he came down from there. So SCCC played it safe, kept himself away from the top half of the lane. And now he's back in, trying to do his best to slow Miracle down, but at the moment Miracle does have the CS. He's 16 for 4 against the 12 for 1. Slight lead for the TA in this situation. Uh, I mean, we talked about the uh, inability, really, for Liquid supports to, to make powerful movements. Uh, could we expect Newbie to, to go for some ganks onto the mid lane? It's possible. Um, Warlock is pretty bad at yeah. it. I uh, guess it's down to the Sanking, really. Sanking kind of has to rotate. It's, it's not too easy for him, either. If he gets these this Boots, Lace, plus a Smoke, he might be able to find an angle. Uh, with Flame Guard running, that should be a good Yeah, they've got the setup from the chains. Could be a good play here, actually, for Kaka at this point in time, because Doom has retreated out of the out of the lane. And, well, Kaka has the choice here. He could also pull. I think both options are good. You want your Sand King to not fall too far behind. Yeah, uh, and I like that as well from uh, Newbie. They instantly scan just south of their Tier 1 mid because the Doom had left the lane, just in case he had a good creep and was looking for the wraparound on the middle lane. So playing it very safe as Triple C. And uh, yeah, there, there we have it, Kaka's there. So that, that rotation that we talked about is going to be attempted here by Newbie. They just need the chain set up. Just got night time. Oh, miracle. Gets a sidestep off. I think he has an idea of what's happening right yeah. now. That flame guard play could be a hint that assistance is coming in from Kaka. Now Mind Control is going to go down and confirm it. Going to lay in some good damage into Kaka here. We'll, we'll retreat, take the rune. Probably look to get a pull off bottom. This mid play failed. And this early game for Liquid, definitely looking better than the last one. The main reason being, Spectre is farming freely. It's a lot better start for Matumba Man. The mid lane is even, and Doom is having a good time as well. So, so far, so good for them. Uh, wrap around uh, attempt, lane. going for Kaka here, who actually comes back in with a two-man bow stroke. Will get himself to safety back around the sidelines with the wraparound for Fate with the Fatal Bonds. The damage is more than there to get S Triple C a double kill, and Sin. As soon as you said it was all looking good, Liquid just had to prove you otherwise. That was so close. Kaka got the Burrow Strike off with like 10 health and completely changed that around with that stun.
if they if they get the kill on Sand King, they just get out. So, you know, valid attempt, but newbie clutch in that moment. Aye, aye, and aye. these two kills for SCC are very, very important. Absolutely. I mean, we saw him last game uh, in the lane get a, a single kill, the first blood. Yeah. To have two this time round. And again, Miracle in a lot of trouble. If the chains oh, don't connect. Oh, this is very, very bad if he dies. He TP'd back into the lane. Ah, he's gone. Sinned. Liquid struggling even more in these first five minutes than in game one. With those three deaths in the mid lane. Newbie. I'd, I mean, well, what is it that's just not working for Liquid in the early games? I think Miracle should just flat out not be making this move. The problem is you, you just got ganked mid. You don't have a lane ward. And... The enemy team haven't shown their supports again. They haven't shown on another lane, so you can assume that they are waiting there. Especially given that you just died mid, there's a good chance that they have a ward, they, or that they have a... I don't know if this sentry actually found Liquid's ward. If it did, it's even worse, because then he knows that they just de-warded him and will try for him. Boom, man. GH, we'll get a nice roll down to the low ground. Good snowball. And, uh, he is yeah, just fine. enough to save him. Yeah, this is, uh, this is bad news for Miracle in that mid lane. And what isn't working for Liquid, I, I think... Again, to, to an extent, at least in this game, it's hard for their supports to find plays. The, the, the plays are difficult to execute because this mid lane is not easy to gank for them. We already saw them try. Um, they, they just need to play very safe. And it, generally playing safe costs farm, and then you fall behind. But if you draft like this and everyone in their lanes just plays for themselves and just tries to farm, the ganks of Newbie will be successful. And, and, and looking at something... Oh, mind control bottom. This could Ooh, be scary. Yeah, they've it got is the scary. Omni and the Strike. Another kill for Newbie. Great catch potential from Kaka. Had a brilliant game one on the Nyx Assassin. And he himself already proving how active he gets in these early stages. And it's going to be scary for uh, Liquid. What he's able to do with that early beginnings, early involvement in the fighting. I'm happy to see more Sand King. I think that hero has been underpicked this tournament. I really, really love Sand King in the current patch. I think it's a great hero. Uh, where it has a better chance of working on support in this patch in comparison to two months ago, simply because the game has slowed down a little bit in the earlier stages, where previously it was like super roaming, you wanted like an Earth Spirit, just so you could level one pressure really hard, Earth Spirit, Ogre, these kind of heroes. But now that the, the, the play has shifted a little bit in this direction, the slightly greedier supports that can still roam are finding a soft spot. Something like Sand King can be a really, really valuable hero, especially because if you get through the early game and it works well for you, the hero just flat out scales better than almost every other support that's picked right now. Uh, we've seen newbie Kaka is having a good game so far. We saw uh, in the IG series it was Baboka yeah. who played it against Mouse Sports in the third game. Both games really make me believe in this hero for the remainder of this tournament as a good choice. Smoke up here from newbie in this rune as well as that for S Triple C if he needs it to close the gap, but it may not be required. They already scanned this out. They know mind control somewhere in the trees. Oh. Actually, he's still in the fog of war oh for the moment. Oh my Will now God. reveal himself. And coming in onto the Juggernaut, is it going to be enough damage to bring it down? It doesn't look like it is. Mass TPs from Newbie. They brought KP in, who's looking for even a potential duel would be lovely. The neutral's actually holding them back, so Newbie won't be able to get the catch onto Liquid. Thanks, Gabe. So Liquid will save themselves. No one to fall down. Uh, Doom and Horn were committed, though, then. Yeah, that, I think if you're Liquid, you're pretty happy that your Doom survived. That, oh. that was actually... <laughs> he was in such an awkward position. Got spotted out by the scan, has TP on cooldown. Newbie missed their stun, they missed their remnant in, and he just runs in and dooms the Jugger and manages to survive because of that. I mean, if he doesn't get the spin off on Jugger, they kill him there with Spectre, and that is a really, True. really huge play. But Unan quick on the reflexes and stays alive. Triple C, going around with Miracle. Oh. And will be a stun for the snowball coming through for GH. Uh oh, GH. He, can, he has triple remnants. Not going for it. Miracle to Salva. Yeah, not, not quite the kill potential and control. This is going to be something as well, I feel, as the game goes on. You know, SCCC on this Ember Spirit, where's your catch from Liquid? I mean, you have to do him. Otherwise, he's, yeah. he's pretty much always going to be able to remnant away. Yep. That is something they will have to deal with later on. Or they will have to be so strong that the, they can just burst him down. Yeah, for sure. The Ember. If we see big, big items on TA, Miracle can certainly do a lot with the, the Mail Strike as such. Liquid diving very deep on this bottom tower. Mind control. Almost certainly stuck here as Newbie will surround him. Here's a big oh, old brute. Great and shard. He's speedy here with the Scorched Earth, but he can't quite cut himself out of the forest. Kaka gets low, but the Shadow Word heal from Faith will keep him alive. They get the successful oh, what, dueling. What? GH rolling in. 
That's not going to be the play that he hoped for. Newbie are a little low on the mana, but they should be able to run the Tusk down as uh, the rest of the team actually... Well, uh, the Shadow Feet, uh, right, the Ember's back to mid. He says, you don't need me. Run around with him for 30 seconds and duel him. He doesn't have a TP. He's space creating. <laughs> And there we have it. Newbie getting the second one out of this failed attempt for Liquid to dive the tier one. Similar to the previous game when Kuro died with the tree and in, in mid and they tried to save him with GH's Lion. This time they're diving this tower. This this play is really, really unlikely to succeed out of Liquid. And then Mind Control's in a bad position. GH tries to come in and save him and they end up giving an extra. Liquid really, really desperate to find something at this stage of the game. They're smoked up. Doom is available and online. SCCC and Kaka in the mid lane. These traps from Miracle spotting this out so they know of the Sand King's presence. And uh, they may look to just simply boost straight in onto him and indeed they will. They'll drop it all, Horn and Doom, just to get themselves their first kill in the game. Mass TPs for Newbie come through. They'll get the change, grabbing the Doom underneath the tower with the Remnant Burst and the Jewel. That'll bring the Doom down. Newbie find the kill in return. Miracle has to start backing away. U9 also TPing over to join the fray. So a one for one. They do get themselves a kill on the board. And Newbie get the trade, and KP gets another win with the duel. Yeah, this Legion Commander is going to get strong in this game, as it looks right now. Looking okay on the farm, could probably be better, but he's been TPing around to help players. He saved the Sand King bottom probably with the TP and suppressed the attack. He just managed to get that kill in mid, and all he's sacrificing for it is a bit of CS, so... Really liking the movement of KP. Oh, he took a really good move there. Dazzle, very nice from Kuro. Bottom lane. As Triple C's there, immediately onto GH. We'll roll away. Please. Already incredibly low and getting run D. down by S Triple C with the flame guard. S Triple C 4 0 1. Soon to be 5 0 1. The first 12 minutes of the game. First item, Blade Mill on the Ember. Something a little different, but I guess at least if you get it this early, it's it's pretty darn strong against Liquid's lineup. It's a bit game specific. Um, I think the reason he's opting for it in this game is, first of all, Blade Mail is nice on Ember just to get the mana. Uh, the, the 10 int is actually really valuable for this hero. And as we talked about previously, the only real threat for him is either getting doomed or getting burst. And this Blade Mail is going to help against that burst. If Even if they do manage to kill him, he does so much damage in return that he might win the fight. We're going to see what he goes later. He's going to get Boots of Travel now, pretty standard. And then I would imagine Lincoln's will be on the menu for later in his build here. What are Liquid going to do, is the question. So Spectre will... Oh, nah, don't have time for that right now. Kaka's being run at. Let's see if uh, how do Liquid want to go on this. They've got to be a little careful. Kaka being focused. S Triple C will be there to cut round and hold back mind control. Omni Slash comes in from U9. Croaky will get the grave off in time. But again, KP in the right place at the right time. The third duel win this game. 13 minutes in as he turns up to the bottom fight. And yeah, this Legion, we saw a pick first. I mean, you kind of said, you're like, the Legion first pick? I guess we're seeing why they do it. They're just so damn good at utilizing it. Yeah, well, the, the hero is being rated very high for multiple teams right now. Um, and I think. I think part of the reason that the hero is as successful as it is, is first of all, it's a good hero, but secondly, some teams are maybe not counterpicking it enough in the games that they give it away. Obviously, Dazzle is a step in the right direction. That's the kind of idea you want to have. You want to have a save against duel. But Grave is not actually that good. Like, maybe you don't lose the duel, but you die after. I mean, your hero still taunts it the entire duration and will get killed. You want a hard disrupt, like disruption from Shadow Demon, the banish from OD, yeah. maybe something like Omni Knight's Guardian Angel plus repels. You can keep the target going. Or just more offensive power so you can exactly. win the duel for yourself and utilize yeah. it against the Legion. Yes, but that... All of that is not really available for Team Liquid right now. They are once again in this position where they need to just go to farm. And more than anything, honestly, I feel like they're kind of shooting themselves in the foot of it with these plays. They're really optimistic and unlikely to succeed. For example, this move that they just had where they snowballed in, uh, they are giving Newbie more kills than Newbie would find themselves, probably trying to make plays that their lineup just isn't ready for. For Liquid, one thing that they could certainly look towards is for this to be a game where Miracle does something amazing. And he is still top of the net worth board, which is impressive considering how the action is panning out between the two sides. Bottom lane, they'll make for a go on Kaka. They've got the dust, but Kaka quick with a burst strike to the sideline. There's no cancel for the TP, and he plays himself straight out of there. Again, another attempt to find a kill with the horn that's unsuccessful. This one isn't too bad for Liquid. They didn't commit Doom, and Matumba Man gets down to a creep wave here that he, he wants to farm down here right now anyway, so at least it transported him. But 
Again, it's not. I mean, it, you really want to be finding kills with these horns, surely. I mean, Matumba, in terms of farm, he's, he is still behind the other three cores in the game. No, the, the, it's not as bad of a situation as he was in in game one, for sure. It's a bit similar to game one in, in another way, though. Like Again, they have a support who isn't level six now, minute, 15 minutes in. This, this Tusk doesn't have Walrus Punch. If he has Walrus Punch, that's probably a kill. But because of these unsuccessful plays and lack of pulling and lack of strong laning, the hero on their side who's high levels is Dazzle. He's been pulling top, he's been laning top and having a good time, but Tusk is falling behind. Previous game it was Trian, who 15 minutes in was also level 5. They're missing utility that they desperately need. In this game, it's actually like their only catch, more or less, who's yeah. under level. So it's very, very difficult for Liquid to find plays. I think what they're going to have to do is something like this, where they just smoke up and just run in the doom. Like, go in, they have to be so try to set something up. This, high ground, this is a this dangerous is a live place shot. to Faith fight. Faith has Chaotic Offering. Oh, this they're going to roll in, they'll drop the doom, but there's the Chaotic Offering onto free with a fatal boss, the triple run, and it's not the play that Liquid need to be making. Newbie, punish it with just absolute ease, Cinder. An easy, easy fight for Newbie. Yeah, again, uh, they're they're giving them uh, they're they're giving them opportunities that newbie wouldn't have found themselves. I feel like, and, you know, it's frustrating when you're playing a game and you look at you have one kill and the enemy team has a lot of kills. You're like, we need to do something. They're getting ahead, but Liquid are actually not looking too bad in this game. That in terms of the graphs, they are having pretty good farm on Spectre. They're having good farm in the TA. Doom isn't having the greatest game, but it's it's manageable. But every time they go for these plays, they give newbie advantages. Um, this is in sharp contrast for me to a team like IG that we've seen. Oh, well, let's yeah, I'm going to try and get some kills out of this, but the chains are there Great to hold chains. you back. It's a lot of burst onto Faith, not quite enough. Heals himself up with the Shadow Word. GH tries to get a trap there with the shards. Won't find it initially. Liquid still continues to move forward, but KP turns up with a big overwhelming ult. The Grave will be there onto Mind Control, but KP has not oh, committed the duel yet. Still unavailable. But they do get the big kill. Jugs down. U9 on the sidelines. Can they find anything else out of this though, Liquid? They won't quite get the catch on test Triple C. Tower will be denied. Miracle again posted incredibly low. Then KP jumps back in. Doesn't quite have Duel yet available though. So Miracle will survive. Liquid fighting with the, the minimal amount of health, but they get the objective, albeit a deny, but it's still a tower down at the end of the day, and they do kill Jug. They do so much damage with Shadow. I think Koro dealt some of the most damage in that fight. They got the... The Melt Strike off into Medallion and Shadow Wave. Just insane nuke coming out from the Dazzle. In that, just that one moment, he kind of just burst down the Juggernaut from half to zero. Uh, and that's something we haven't talked too much about for Liquid. They have great minus armor, so Roche is a play for them. The, the question is, how can they get themselves in a position where they can go for it? They kind of need to find I mean, a, we have a, a decent pick, as well. but it's, it's not easy for them still to, to accomplish that. And the first big burst onto Faith. And looking to get S Triple C. That Blade Mail certainly helping him putting Miracle off from fully committing it against the Ember Spirit. He got Blink Dagger now on Miracle. That is. That's pretty. Big, I mean, yeah, as you mentioned, Miracle has still been hitting the timings in this game with everything up against the wall for Liquid. 12 for 2, the lead for Newbie. Oh, yeah, Miracle with the Blink Dagger. So if he can start to find these pickoffs, and certainly, as we mentioned uh, before in, in this game and in game one, having that Matuma Man Spectre to join the fray as well. I think the target now for uh, the way to play this for Liquid in fights is that Miracle tries to blink and burst the Warlock. If he gets a chance to do that before Golem gets dropped, they suddenly have a fight that can play on multiple angles. Oh, there's a duel. They've found themselves the Spectre here. They won't get the dual win, but they get themselves the kill. GH also rolling in once again a little too late. It's going to be a bit of a bonus prize for SCCC as he picks up the double kill. As newbie get themselves Matumba very quick after a little bit of a, a shining hope was shown for Liquid as they've taken down the Jug. Lane Lane. Miracle. Oh, he misses the Melt Strike. And does he get the initial Wasn't a kill anyway, but could have been good damage. Okay, so the point I was trying to make earlier was if you compare... Oh, oh maybe we have to wait this. Oh, this could be painful uh -oh. for Liquid. Miracle has to get the hell out of there. Liquid are actually in a really, really bad position here. They've uh, just been scanned out as mind well. Control needs to TP away from this, probably. Miracle. Oh, he's going to start hitting the anxious newbie. They're aware that he's around. Kaka finds the initial opening with the first strike. Haunt will be used. The root up Miracle and TA is out. Brought down immediately. Carry offering dropped onto two. They've got the duel onto Matumba. They get both of the big boys. Miracle and Matumba taken down as Yubi go for a beautiful long wraparound from the river that catches Liquid entirely off guard. I think now I can make it. So. 
the, the thing I was thinking about in this game is that Liquid are playing a greedy lineup. They're playing, they need to play slower. And this is where a team like IG has looked way better to me that in understanding what their lineup can and can't do, should and shouldn't do in the game in order to succeed. Liquid are taking these fights that are so risky and so difficult. Like, again, risk reward is just not nice buyback them. from Miracle. They want to go in for some sort of a big play. GH rolls through, but the Roshan's already fallen. U9 picks up the Aegis. GH, Grave Dog trying to get himself out of there. The Doom will manage to bring down Ember Spirit. In return, U9 pops the Omni Sash. They've actually managed to break the Aegis immediately. Faith gets taken down by a Bell Strike. This buyback from Miracle could just hold Liquid in the game. They'll look towards U9, who goes for the Blade Fury Escape, but the Meld is too much. Miracle's not done. He's angry. He wants more. He wants blood. Miracle should get the fourth kill here. Surely KP can't play as well. He can, but it doesn't matter. It's good enough for Liquid. They get the triple kill. Big call to get the TA back in the game, but it absolutely pays off, Sin. It does pay off, but it's not as big a win as it might look like. The problem is the TA bought back and got all the kills, so he gets like almost no gold bonus because of the buyback punishment. Uh, but it's still, it's a, it's a good play in the sense that they get rid of the Aegis. And it's a lot of XP. It's a lot of experience. They get rid of the Aegis that would have given Nubia an advantage here. So definitely, I would agree it's worth it. Uh, for sure to go for this, especially like you said, the experience. You can it's also check the gold graph. It is a win for Liquid, for sure. And uh, they desperately need something like this where they just finally get one fight on their terms, where they're all in a good position to go in together, catch the right targets off guard. And again, the enemy team is in the Roche pit, so here they have favorable position. This is the first fight of the game that Liquid are choosing where they will have an advantage. I think it's the first fight of the series, Sid. Mm. I th yeah, maybe, actually. <laughs> uh, they had a couple of good fights in the previous game. It was just, they were just too far behind, but uh, like they at least took them on good terms. The, the draft just put them in a pretty weak position in the game overall, I would say. Uh, but here, taking a good fight in the road pit. And Miracle coming up big. He is working toward the BKB. There are still counters to him. The problem, this is another strength of Legion Commander, is the taunt that pierces everything you can, apart from Lincoln's, obviously. The fact that you can go Blink Blade Mail, and kill an enemy carry. You can have a lot lower net worth than them and still kill them just by having them kill themselves. The problem is Refraction is actually kind of nice against it, so they need to try to break Refraction first with Ember, and then Legion can solo him right up. It's not too easy, but uh, another play that will be available to Newbie just now, and they're actually going to smoke right away with this Blade Mail reveal. Let's see what they can get here, Newbie. They, they did not, not happy with that last fight. with them. This could go bad for Noob in terms of numbers. Oh, They're going to Kaki gets a huge epi. That's the question. Jumps in, immediately burst there. But the Grave's in time for Kuro. Will buy some time from a two man. The three man chaotic offering comes down on their heads. They have lost KP. It's a one for one. Miracle jumps forward. Will make sure the Liquid do end up taking the trade. And this has got to be worrying for Newbie. They look to take the fight. They do get the Spectre kill, but they've given away two lives. Maybe even more Faith tries for the TP out. Will Miracle have enough burst in time? Or, I mean, that's going to hurt him. I don't think it's going to kill him, Sin, but it's certainly going <laughs> to give him a bit of a headache. I'll, let's have a look. Let's have a look, Faith. He's, he's shrining up. He's terrified. Oh, it missed. Oh, it missed. Okay. It missed. <laughs> oh, big kill, though. They'll take that instead. Focusing on the important things here, Owen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good stuff for Liquid. This time around, in my opinion, Nubia are going for a difficult play here. They have the Juggernaut top. Liquid has this information. They can see him on the map. So the moment Newbie engage on them at their tower with four heroes and try to kill the Spectre, because of the perfect positioning of Kuro for that grave, the entire fight was delayed so long that Liquid could just beat them in the 5 on 4 there. And not bringing Jugger to the fights, in my opinion, is just a no-go. If you want to go for a skirmish, sure. But this was a four-man smoke next to a tower with only Spectre showing. They have to know that there's protection for him. And also kind of for Liquid as well, I'm sure they'll be looking for for the, as much positive as they can. That was a fight where Matumba was taken down, but he already had the relic, so there wasn't yep. a huge amount of gold loss for the Spectre. And he's he already lost. hit that first big hurdle, albeit, it, of course, it is still at a later stage than he would have put out, potentially hoped, 24 minutes in. It's not ideal, but the, the difference in this game, in my opinion, is that Miracle is having a better time than he was in the previous Miracle's game. Miracle is st starting to get into the groove that Liquid need him to be in. Yeah, and uh, Kuro is also having a significantly better game. I think his dazzle in this game has been almost perfect. He's been playing a great game. Um, Clutch Grave there in the last fight. He has had some a couple of good heal bombs with the minus armor. His itemization I completely agree with. The start of his laning phase I completely agree with. Um, very good plays from him and Miracle in particular in this game for Team Liquid. They will be conceding this top tier too, but it could 
buy them just the time they need to get this Radiance from Matumba. And in this game, it's pretty different. I think the Radiance is a lot better in this game compared to game one, because this time there's no Omni Knight Absolutely. on the Radiant side. And I don't even think they have anyone building the pipe build up. No, no, they no, don't. no hood or pipe being looked towards at the moment from Newbie. A lot more damage kind of come out from this Radiance. Bad news for them, however, Ember has Lincolns. And Blink is close by as well. He will more or less be able to just pick his target and go to town. Only thing he needs to be a little bit careful of is that he doesn't burn all his remnants and then gets jumped by the TA. That could get scary. But, um, yeah, I, I actually I just love this blade mail pickup from Ember this game, actually. The, the 10 int, the ability to deal, ba deal damage back with only Doom really countering you, and the armor it gives against TA are all really great benefits here. Uh, something we've seen as of late being more popular in Ember is getting Shivas. I do think we could also see that come out from uh, SCC later yeah, this game. Yeah, the armor would be beautiful against Miracle. Armor against Miracle. Armor is also pretty good against the Spectre. I mean, it's not perfect, but it all adds up. The Shiva is really, really nice against a hero like TA who needs to move consistently and stay on target. Speaking of which, bottom lane, Kaka. Very quick Very reaction quick there. The they do spot him out, but no wow. way to that was the so TP. fast. He was sensing it. That was some spider senses in that one. See the next play for, for Liquid is, as you mentioned, Radiance is what they want to be finishing, and, and DJ is picked up. They have the ults at their ready, but so do Newbie. I mean, is it a case if you're Liquid, do, do you need to be active and hunting, or is it now just waiting for Newbie again to go for these plays where you can turn and punish them? I think you try to fight, actually, you as Liquid now. You, you want to activate your, and use the Radiance. Uh, now that it is peaking as an item, and they're exactly looking for that. They're going to doom the Sand King. He is super dead here. They don't even use, need to use Haunt for this play. Liquid taking advantage of good warding here. Kuro with a good aggressive ward. This time they have the information they need to make the play. Uh, at the same time, they're pushing in the bottom lane with Templar Assassin. So putting, putting out the pressure here against Newbie. Haunt available, so I like this play a lot from Liquid that they stay in the jungle. They know yeah, they, they have better more. vision. This kill is big if they can get in on SCC. They need to break the Lincolns, however. Not the easiest and task. Yeah, he's uh, with the Doom already used as well, it's still very hard. They'll find Faith instead. And uh, of course, this will move the, uh, the Spectre Matuma Man into a position to continue to push. He's actually going to go back up top and uh, put some harassment down onto KP. It was very quick with a, a TP out of there. S Triple C. Oh, he's even quicker and smarter on the mine with the bots to the top lane. Realizes Matumba came back on his own. And S Triple C. He's a smart boy. He immediately punishes that. Tanking going to complete this? He actually is. He's going to go in for the Tusk here. They know Spectre cannot possibly connect to this fight. And they're just going to try to get as many kills as they can, which looks to be one at the current time. But GH, it's nice blink. Well, okay, not so nice. But he didn't have a choice. <laughs> So. KP will get the dual bonus out of that one as well. So, But Liquid Liquid are waking up, I feel like. They Either are, but it still feels like Nubia making the better overall decisions there. Matumba dying here was unnecessary, but apart from that, I really like this play from Liquid. It's the right approach. They go down, they get superior vision, they play the numbers game where they have four heroes together and they use the haunt, and they go in based on the information they need. This play is very different to, for example, the one they group up as three and run in and fight at the enemy shrine. In that fight, they don't have the necessary information. They're in a way worse position, and they didn't have the correct correct items at the time to take those fights. Now that they've built up their arsenal that they need, they are making one good decision after the other. Bar that Spectre death, but they got a tower bottom, they got a key kill, and they're keeping the farming going. To Roshan for Newbie, as they look to maintain control around it. They know there's no Haunt, they know there's no Doom. Feeling very confident taking it at this time of the game. So the crest has been complete for mind control. Uh, this so we is are a big see moment. Doom is still on cooldown for a little bit, so is Haunt. Yeah, it's, it's a hard fight for Liquid. Newbie, they, they've scanned it out as well. So they know that Liquid's on that high ground. Yeah, they got scared because of this trap drop from uh, Miracle. Very important that he gets this trap into the pit. Of course, they may have countered a previous trap with the sentry that they placed, but him placing a new one gives them very important information, mainly about the current health of Roshan. Because Liquid probably wants to go for a snipe and just delay them until then. Haunt is available. Sure, yeah, with this delaying. This is the most important moment of the game right yeah. here. If they can take this Roshan fight. But it is still oh, a big if. They're a little... Yeah, they're coming towards it now. You've got Miracle 
Leading the way, now he's going to tag back. Kuroki's going to look forward to get the vision out. There's the Horn, jumping from the Tumba. GH with the roll across, gets the stun onto two. They're trying to take Faith out before he can get the Golems down, and they do. There's no Chaotic Offering available. And now with the Doom as well, laid down onto the Juggernaut. Liquid move across for the second. SCCC quick with the Remnant out, but a brilliant way for Liquid to take the fight. They may even get Kako down to the low ground with a Burrow Strike. Will sell fuels to dodge the shards, and with another nice fling, he is out of there. In fact, they'll turn to fight. He revs up the epicenter. They managed to trap two here. S Triple C gets the duel off onto Kuroki. Burrow strike onto two. The Infernal Blade gets laid down from Microtron. A quick punch from the Tusk finishes off the Sanking Liquid. Still to take the fight as they get KP as well. A good attempt from Nubi to try and turn it around, but Liquid had the beautiful startup for that one. The Snowball all focused on the Warlock. The Dune dropped onto the Juggernaut. Nubi, which they, they were just kind of strangled there around that clutch point, and they couldn't fight back initially. It was a great attempt with the Sand King, but Liquid, as you said it, they're waking up since. They need. This is the perfect way to take the fight. If they can kill a Warlock like yeah. this, the, the fight is theirs, I think. The Again, key items coming out that they make great use of. The first BKB usage here from Miracle is perfect. He can just jump in, feel confident in taking this fight. Ember can't damage him at all yet. Juggernaut was doomed, so he can't deal damage. It's like the fight is well planned, you know? They're going in with a goal. The haunt is well timed. They know exactly what they want to do in the fight, and they just execute. This is, this is so much better than 15 minutes ago. I'm not sure it, what it, it, what it was like, like click for team. them. It really does. Maybe they're like, guys, we're about to get knocked out. Let's start playing Dota, and then, okay, I'll play Dota. And then Matuma like, like, okay, I'll play Dota 90% of the time. <laughs> Debated. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, Liquid yeah. really stepping up the plays. Miracle, 20,000 net worth, 5,000 ahead of that. Oh, SCC we'll see. going bottom. He is. He may get punished for this, though. The snowball's on him. Okay, he's out of there. So uh, GH is going to be uh, glad that that spell does not continue globally. That would have been fun. It would have been quite Can you a imagine? Ride. imagine if it kept gaining in size the whole way. And in the speed. Normal. Yeah, that that would be something. But indeed, it doesn't. He's out. Twenty-one for fourteen. Still, Matsuma man. Yeah, as well. He he himself very close to to pretty much being on the same level as the the farm of this juggernaut. Those last few fights really hurting newbie. Miracle um, is stacked. I mean, he, he really has is. He's got the Bloodthorn done. He's blood on his road thorn. to the Butterfly. What's his GPM? And it's going to be super is high. Almost certainly dead. Yeah, there's no way you wore yourself out of that one. Three touches from Miracle. And they know the ward's there as well. So we'll be able to get the D ward. We'll see if... Uh, it's... I mean, it's one of those games. You mentioned from the draft. It was always going to be hard for Liquid at the start because it, it's a greedy draft. Yeah. I, would you say we're at the point now where the greed is paying off? Well, they definitely offset the this disadvantage is. that we're at. They they took a couple of key fights that they absolutely needed to, and they won them. And now that their lineup is is starting to get ahead, they can itemize what they need in the game. So Doom is going to go for the Blink Dagger so that they can get a good initiation and catch off potentially the Juggernaut or the Legion Commander. Both are excellent Doom targets. I think at this point, you don't really try to Doom the Ember because it's difficult. You get one of the other targets that are easier, and then you play around the Ember with the BKB of TA. Like, if Juggernaut is doomed, there's no way this Miracle TA is going to get killed through BKB. I just don't think so. Even if he gets dueled, KB's just going to lose the duel. He'll get three shot. Um, at the same time, the Spectre is starting to pick up as well. We're going to see Matumba Man itemize a lot of health here, going for the straight heart after the, this blade mail. This is a problem now for Newbie. Uh, I, they're, they're running out of damage, I think, because of these lost fights. The, I, I like the itemization from Liquid of just going tank style on, on the Spectre instead of something like a Manta. I think he just needs to try to stay alive with his main and draw as much attention onto himself as possible. Like, let's say they even kill him. It takes so long and costs so much. They may that find they Matumba here. And then they, they scan the high ground. They know that they've got this clear entry up to the top. I was wondering if Matumba was going to sweep all the way back to his jungle, but he's, he's staying towards the mid lane. So, with that in mind, newbie, I'm not going to find anyone at the end of the day. So, a bit of avoidance of the smoke by Liquid. Liquid themselves grouped up and moving down the mid lane. GH in position to, to potentially dispel any sort of smoke movement from the high ground from newbie. And Miracle, very close to the point where he can front line. He has a butter too, almost? What? Oh, he's massive. What's happening? What's his... What's his... 750. All right. Still a bit ways to go up to Burning AM. That's true. <laughs> Not going to happen, this game. It's pretty much... I don't know if it's mathematically impossible at this point, unless Newbie just beat him 10 kills in a row. Nah, is it? But well, yeah, it's, it's possible if people want to start beating him. Do you think Newbie are going to do that? I don't think so. Okay, me neither. 
Just run down mid and and just look look at how newbie's playstyle has changed. That this is a team that understands that the the complete state of the game is is different now. They're playing a lot more passively. They are focusing more on pushing out waves rather than looking for these fights and skirmishes because they don't hold the advantage anymore. SCC will be going for the Shivas I was mentioning earlier. Will be the right choice in this case, I would imagine. And some, something we haven't talked about yet that we still need to consider, of course, in this game. At some point, you want to go high ground. And high grounding into newbie's lineup if no heroes are dead is really, really difficult. True. And I'm it's fairly similar to Liquid's lineup. I would say Liquid's defense is actually, no, on second thought, it's significantly worse. Pushing into Slight Chains and Golem and Sand King Stun and the Threat of Duel is very, very difficult. Oh, I'm hearing a Doom. Kaka. See ya, Sand King. Uh, chase down here by he runs control. pretty fast, actually. Yeah, now he doesn't run anymore. Uh, GH traps him. And with the Warrior's Punch and the Stomp there from Mind Control. Liquid oh, Miracle's chasing. Kill. He could find a solo pick. Does he get away with this with this Invisory? I mean, he has so much damage on him. Faith being focused first. One, two. That's the wall account with the Horn. They want to move across for more. KP immediately TPs away, though. So Liquid won't find another. But that is the Warlock down. And a big component of Newbie's high ground defensive potential uh, that Liquid could certainly look to try and abuse if they want. The fact that he's now gone for 30. He does have buyback. They might consider that the Warlock doesn't have buyback right now and go for a play. I think if Liquid try to high ground now, it's going to be a big mistake. You think? You they, they, don't, they, they don't have Aegis. Play, they don't have Aegis. If they try to go in and just get out a little bit, a little bit out of position, they're going to lose like three or four, even five heroes. Without Haunt, it's, it's still really tricky for them. This is a big item, though. Matumba Man, 20 armor, 3200 health on Spectre. Starting to prepare his Manta style as the next item. And Miracle, uh, sorry, Liquid must feel a lot more comfortable right now. Now the game is in a state where just farming more on their cores, taking it easier is just fine and favorable for them, probably even. Push out the waves, keep getting items. And also, Dazzle is a really good support late in the game. The later you get into the game, the more important armor gets relative to other things. It's generally, a super late game is very often about armor and hard lockdown, just EHP and hard lockdown. Dazzle Weave is... Dazzle Weave plus Grave is one of the best support combinations you can have in the late game as spells, so... Liquid? Just take it easy for now. And what are Newbie going to do? So I'm a bit uncertain what the play is for them right now. I think they might want to try to play the same style and just wait for the Roshan fight and try to win this one. And if Liquid wants to high ground them, they will gladly be waiting for them at the, door, at the front door. But they should be losing this game at every minute in terms of economy. It is, of course, one of the advantages of Doom. It's able to... These two members of Newbie could be in trouble here, gold. Kaka. Beginning with the Burrow Strike. They'll be used to hold one back, but Mind Control's in there with the Blink Doom. They'll put the Horn as well, see if they can find a bonus. And won't get them anything more than just the one. Still, it's another kill for Liquid as they really close the gap. And, uh, well, in terms of net worth, just lead massively ahead. S Triple C pushing out the bottom lane. Should be quick to get himself out of it. And then Dino catch on Matumba. But yeah, as you mentioned, Newbie really are going to be thinking about all the possibilities that they can pull off to get themselves back on top of this game that they you know, they were very much so up on top, uh, up top of in the laning stage in that early game. Once again, though, Miracle with an Invis rune. Potential of finding himself some solo action. KP in the neighborhood. I mean, even with the amount of Miracle does, a, a Mel Strike and the Bloodthorn. He could just bring solo down KP, KP right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. the opportunity. Let's give it a couple. He saw the Sand King on his trap there. Let's see what he goes for. Does he want to go for any sort of play? He does have backup. Still, yeah, just playing a game of safety. Not wanting to throw anything away. GH. Guardian Grease now complete. So that, alongside Kuroki's tool set. It's going to be even more terrifying for Newbie to try and defend against when those high ground pushes come through. SCC going to pressure top out. It's going to be a response immediately from Miracle. And well, Roshan is max respawn time. This is like literally 11 minutes, I think, on the dot. Or yeah, maybe like my plus minus, uh, not plus three seconds. That is impossible. Within three seconds. 
And that means it's just going to be more of a farming game. Both teams will want to play around this Roshan for sure. It is the most important objective on the map currently. After the Ancient and the Barracks. Neither of which seem reasonable to even try for for either team at this point. Going high ground is pretty difficult to catch. And I, I kind of have this feeling in this game that this could end up being a really, really long game. Just because... Yeah, a real back and forth kind of late game. Affair. Maybe, or just very quiet. It seems difficult. Like, Liquid will try to find picks as they have recently with their haunts. But they're still a bit limited in terms of their catch potential. Oh, maybe not. This this could be big. Do they have a ward? Nope. The ward is favoring Newbie. Uh, we have Mind Control trying with a jump in. They have the Haunt for Vision. Kaka's already down to low ground with the Burrows trying. But Timmer Man turns towards Faith. They'll take the Warlock out. At least try to. He gets the chance to drop the Chaotic offering. Faith, Faith continues to run. Has the Shadow Word heal as well. He's actually going to be able to keep himself alive here. Now with the jewel on the Timmer Man. They'll look to turn. But the damage from Miracle. He rips through one. He rips through two. Unite tries with the Omni Slash. But this jug just does not do enough initially against the power of Miracle's DA. They'll try and slow them down, Faith, from the uh, high ground with the upheaval, but it's Liquid getting the triple kill on Miracle. Newbie forced back up to the high ground. Miracle, is he done yet? No, he's not. Jumps forward. Look at these mount hits. He crits down the Juggernaut. Ultra kill for Miracle. The war is pushed low onto S triple C. Faith gets brought down. They found themselves a fourth. S triple C stunned up. Remnants out. Remnants back in. Miracle incredibly low. They have to get themselves out, Liquid. But they will do so with ease as the grave and heals are there from Kuroki. Change coming through Miracle, ticking down lower and lower. Oh, Very he minimal is life. solo. Again, these heals keeping the team alive and together. High ground, Kaka has managed to catch out mind control. Miracle questioning where we can go back in on this one. Has to refract and charges up. Looking for a target. There it is. Jumps in. Gets Kaka down with a 1 2. Another kill for Liquid. And certainly, Duby are just getting broken apart. That's so far, this has been like a 6 for 0. Just when I said that this game could go late, Liquid find a perfect opening. Just by virtue of getting all this vision out of Haunt, they can find the key targets. And Warlock just dropping his Golem and his Fatal Bonds with almost zero effect by getting caught out every single time by the Spectre is so important for Liquid. There and if you're are. newbie, you have to pay more attention to your positioning with this, uh, with this lineup. The Warlock yeah. needs to be protected somehow. If Warlock is out on, on his own, gets haunted on, he dies. And they can't afford it anymore. The next fight, there has to be a better golem and a better bond. But the next fight might not. It might be too late. Miracle is absolutely out of control now. They 32,000 so network. far ahead. It's, you know, something that we mentioned at the start. They, they need a Miracle to have this sort of a game liquid, and he absolutely is. The horns back up. Miracle with the BKB straight in the shards. Traps them all. They're bringing them down low, but the jewel's there for KP. It doesn't matter, though. The damage is just too high from liquid. The physical rips them to pieces. GG is called, and we're going to a game three. Miracle, with the performance that he needed to pull out on this main stage, will manage to take the victory against Yubi. What a performance. Great team play from Liquid. A slow start like we saw in game one, but this time Liquid managed to make the greed payoffs in. I think if Liquid take the right things out of this game and identify what mistakes they made early on and how they can prevent them, this third game could look really, really good for them. I'm very impressed with how they managed to come back after a series of misplays. It looked like they were just going on tilt, making one bad decision after the other, going for impossible plays. And then they find like that small opening, just a little bit of a...